Hey guys, it's Rainy B, and today we are here with the first update, the update for May, for the 50 Shades of Green project pan. And so there's a lot of stuff in front of me, so let's see if I can actually find all the products in order. And here we go. So the first two things that I have progress on are my nail polishes. So my lime green has the tiniest bit. As you can see, I have it as an accent nail here. And so that is where that's at. And my glitter is from the red down to the blue as well. And those have been very fun. I've been doing this. And you know, if you saw my Instagram post last night, I said, hurry and take a picture before I wreck it. Today it's wrecked. So I've been putting this over the lime green and I've really loved this combination for spring. I also put it over the blue that is in a different project and I enjoy that. But this green with the glitter, I I'm loving it. So then we get into some shadows. So there's not a lot of progress on these, but I will show them to you. So here is the light green shade that has gone from 0.7 grams to 0.67 grams and it is it is what it is guys all of these they are what they are we've got a year there's not that much shadow in them um some of these greens will go quickly when it comes christmas time but this is the emerald shade this went from 6.95 grams to six to to six oh my goodness this went from 0.695 grams to 0.683 grams so and if i've said six point i mean point six on the other one too then we get into what i'm just calling the kind of the regular green shadow here and this one has moved very minusculely from 0.959 to 0.956 so not much progress on that it's also the least interesting shade to me so i'm going to maybe have to force the usage on that one a little more than the rest of these then finally the army green shade this one went from 0.678 grams to 0.67 grams exactly so just small amounts of usage on those but some usage is better than no usage the next thing is my nyx green liner and i'm telling you what guys i have had a ruler a tape measure and who knows what else in here to measure these things and the kids keep finding them and taking them so i weighed this guy because they won't touch my scale and it is at 5.061 grams and we're just going to continue to weigh it as I sharpen it because I'm tired of having to postpone projects searching for a ruler. So that is what we're going to do with these eyeliners from now on and it is what it is. So the next thing is my mascara and this guy is getting very dry um, and very not even dry very hard to get anything out. So I've had to like swirl and do a couple layers. It has gone from 26.027 grams to 25.752 grams and I expect this to not make it to summer so I'm thinking maybe next month and possibly July but it will not make it to the end of summer next is the pretty vulgar I gotta find it pretty vulgar secret sabotage went from 32.268 grams to 32. 2 to 3 grams so not a lot but I did want to tell you I've started enjoying this I realized I enjoyed it as a highlighter so when I want less of this white which is in my pan that palette highlighter I've been shearing this out and using it as a darker pinker highlight also works as a blush topper to kind of um, mute down the blush that's in a project that's a very full blush so that one may be seeing a lot more progress than it has this month since I discovered that next is Too Faced Mermaid Tears and this one has moved from the red down to the blue it is looking like this and I did weigh it this month. It is at 23.034 grams. So that is where we are at with that. And I really do enjoy that lipstick um, as something different. Then where to go? Hiding behind other products. The Outspoken, the uh, 
Outspoken Fresh by Fergie. This one has only teeny tiny progress on it as well. And that's kind of the story of a lot of these. I am wearing the body splash trying to use it up for a different project. So once that one's gone, I will be moving on to this one and it should move quicker. Next is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. And this one has moved from here down to here. This one I left in my bathroom here as my face cleanser here. And I think I'm gonna put it up in my shower, which means you're not gonna see it again until it's gone. But I think it will get better usage up in my shower because that's where I've been washing my face uh, the most lately. So that one will go up to my shower and you will see it again when it's gone. Otherwise it'll never find its way back up there. And we will, we will be happy with it up there. So the next thing is in an empties bin. It is my Aveeno sunscreen. And I had had it upside down and marked it here. And it is gone. I even got my finger up in there and scraped as much out as I could. So that one is gone. And I have one more sunscreen around here that I'm using. But I do enjoy this. And I have like an allergy to a lot of skin products. Um, a lot of products in general. So, um... This one, if you have sensitive skin, this one was okay for me. This one was good for me. I've gone through a couple of them already, so give it a try if you're looking for an SPF that isn't going to irritate your skin. And speaking of irritating skin, I am not sure, I'm not sure where it went to begin with. The Murad, there it is. The Murad um, Rapid Collagen Infusion Resurgence. This one's gone from the red up to the blue. And it went like this because I had another face product that I was using and I tried to put them together and it irritated my face. So I used up the other one first and now I've started on this one. So it is a small amount of progress. I've been using this as my night cream along with an oil and that seems to be fine, but when I mix those two products, guys, ooh, that was a bad night in my life. So, or in my, you know, face skin's life. So, that's where we're at with that one. But now it should be making progress with the other one being gone. The Ren Ever Calm Day Cream. This one, it has no SPF in it, guys. And that's sad because that's, you know, what I want from a day cream. But it hasn't irritated my face. So, there is that going for it. So it was here and it is up to here. And my only real problem is I have to do this and then put an SPF on top. And I'm always concerned that that's gonna cause a reaction because that is something my skin reacts to really easily. So hopefully that doesn't start happening with the SPF that I've got now that the other one's gone. But say a prayer for me, we will see. The next thing, we are moving into the body care. The, a the Aromatherapy Body Wash this is my favorite thing, the Stress Relief Eucalyptus and Spearmint. It has gone from the red down here to the blue, and it is, it's my favorite thing, guys. I love this thing. So, it'll continue to have progress. I may not bring it down next time. A lot of the products that go upstairs just stay upstairs until they're done so that I don't forget them in here for a month and get no progress on So the next thing I, that has been used is this sample lotion, the aloe and vitamin E hand lotion, compliments of Celebrex, and it has moved from the red down to the blue. This is the one I've been using on my feet lately, um, but I mean, it's a good overall lotion. I've just needed lotion on my feet more than anything else. So that is most of the usage on that. Then, let me scroll here, my Aromatherapy Body Lotion, the Eucalyptus and Spearmint again. This is the Stress Relief, and it has moved from green. It was brand new, and I used it like once or twice before bed. Um, it's getting into spring, summer, so I don't need as heavy of a lotion. So this one's, this one's kind of not that heavy, so it should be good for summer and so when I take my showers in the evening I have been putting this guy on but obviously not that much then also let me set this guy up to the side so I can find what I'm looking for the stress relief hand cream this one has moved 
ever so slightly, which is the story going on here. But we're in our first month, guys, and it's a lot of products to get used to having again when you had your last color down to just a few, right? So if you know, you know. So that's where that one is at, but it is getting progress. So the Footworks Clay Mask. Yes, it is on my feet right now. Kelly, you're going to put that in the comments. I did mark it before I put it on, and it had moved from here down to here. This mark is from a different project, but that is where it was at before I put this round on my feet. And now I just got to figure out how to get it off my feet without getting little squash marks across my floor. Then we are on to the Olive Oil Incredibly Rich Oil Moisturizing Hair Lotion. And this one has moved from here down to here. And it's been a learning curve, guys. This isn't made for my hair. So I'm not blaming it for doing what it does to my hair because it's not made for me. But using it up is, you know, because I own it, it's, it's a challenge. So what I've been doing is putting it on my hair before a shower to let it soak some moisture in and then actually washing my hair after because it's too moisturizing for my hair type. So it is, it is what it is. We will get through it, but it may be slow going, but it'll get out of here and we won't have to, to have it in here anymore in the house anymore. So. And then the final thing, I have an empty shampoo. There's only 17 of these left in this project, but this is one that is out of this project. That puts me down to 48 products left. So we'll see where we can get to in the next month. And that is everything. Um, obviously I didn't go through all the products. I haven't used everything. It's a lot, it's a lot guys, but I hope you'll stick around, check out my progress, see what I can do with these products in the next year. I hope you'll check out the other fantastic ladies in this collab. Until the next time, I will talk to you all later.